Welcome, wild ones, and indigo brothers and sisters. This is day two of my writing um, mantra challenge for 10 days <coughs> coming up to Christmas. Uh, this, this is day two, can you see? This is uh, what I've done so far. I, I just wanted to speed it up a bit because it took so long yesterday the video here we are <clears throat> I've written um, 45 so far and 67 and I'm up to 77 and before I finish the rest, I just want to introduce you to a very useful book. This book is so old. It's called Write It Down, Make It Happen, Knowing What You Want and get, Getting It. Look how old this is. I mean, I've just read it and read it and read it. Excuse the mess on the table. My table is trashed at the moment. And it's like most of my favourite books, they get ruined because I just take them everywhere. And so this is Henry and Klaus. Can you read that? Klauser. So if anyone wants uh, a copy of this book, I haven't lost this one yet. Thank goodness. I'm going to a secondhand bookshop to try and locate the other one and hope that pray that I find it the mind over matter one hypnotism but this one is just as good I think this book would be suitable for anyone interested in writing these mantras um, because you can also like when you're writing the mantras you can also write down your goals so at the top of the page like here it's got find the perfect mate get a great new job travel the world buy your dream house wake up happier have a better relationship with your teenage well, these are just her ideas but it goes into detail how writing it down makes it happen so, turn your dreams into reality by taking matches into your own hands with them and by writing it down. So, writing is very powerful. It really is. And writing your goals is very powerful. That's why if you combine that with the mantras, it's powerful. So, I've, I'm here at 77. And um, the idea is that you follow with me, get a pen and paper, any book will do, I'm actually using my son's diary that he's not interested in, it was empty so I thought oh Look, I'll use that. Got some cool colours. <coughs> and I'll take this again for the benefit of all. Oh, everyone that witnesses this. also get the luck it's hard for me to write because I'm like trying to write and hold the camera as well such a professional amateur <laughs> I reckon that a lot of people need this 
coming up to Christmas because Christmas is actually quite a stressful and hard time of year for a lot of families, especially families struggling with kids. And um, it's a lot of pressure. And as much as I'm doing this for me, I'm also doing it to help others. Because, um, you know, when I'm talking about this stuff, I'm also talking about myself and, you know, my own um, struggles. I won't, like, I don't like to try anything or talk about anything, let's say, unless, of course, I'm prepared to try it myself, obviously, within reason. So we're up to 89 now. I did cheat today. I started early without filming it. Okay. Yeah. This is my son's diary, isn't it cute? Cat! Where am I? So I'm at, at 89 now. 89, and I've got a 90. Here we go. <gasps> 91. I mean, it took two videos yesterday. Oh, God, look at that. It's getting blurry. I'm holding the camera the wrong way this time. Oh, all over the place. Good grief. Multitasking, it's not easy. You should try it. Try holding one of these cameras or oh, this is just an iPhone camera and then writing <laughs> with the other hand oh yeah Shout out to a one of my sisters, Tiamat. Tiamat. She has a channel called Tiamat, and I think she has another channel. And she um, actually puts her seals her mantras, the same mantras, with her blood. I guess that's to make it more more powerful, more magical, I guess. Blood over intent. It's all harmless fun, I'm sure. Um, whatever works. You could try writing it in your own blood. could get a feather, you know, like one of those old time feathers. So I'm at a hundred now. Remember what you do now benefits you later, so I don't expect anything and I think that's a good way to be. Expect nothing and be pleasantly surprised when something happens. I think the best things that happen in life are when you least expect them. 
and not to be too demanding. That's not saying don't set high goals. I think that everyone needs to set high goals. I need to set high goals. But look how long that took, and I'm, and I'm only doing half <coughs> the page. God, I've got a noisy family talking in the background, coughing in the background. Okay. This is real life, folks. I'm not crossing anything up, clearly. Okay, what are the day time? So this was day, day two of the ten day challenge. And congratulations. To anyone that's following me and uh, doing it this with me. Congratulations for getting through it all. Day two. And there they all are. Bye for now.